Well, hello, hello. And I've just realized my stream dit's not working properly. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting um, night. Because that means that my sound is not going to come out as I expected. Well, that's, that's a great start. Um, OK, well, hello, hello. Uh, Dougal McTavish, welcome to chat. Hope you're doing good. I uh, hope everybody had a happy Christmas and um, well, welcome to uh, this stream, first stream after Christmas. And Captain Spitfire is also here. Hello, hello. Um, welcome to a chat. Let me just bring in our chat members, our flying members tonight. So chat, uh, you can now say hello to the world. Hello to the world. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, there's a few of you in there that hello. snuck in. <laughs> so that's uh, Curious B. Hello, Bill, and welcome to the stream. Catch Spitfire, Dougal McTavish. And uh, hopefully um, you're all going to fly along. Captain Bombasso is on his way. He's just, um, he's just purchasing the Kodiak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if Seamus will do that. I wonder. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, so um, it looks like um, uh, 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 that my stream deck is is not responding to anything for some bizarre reason. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, and um, uh, it's all lit up and stuff like that, but it doesn't mean I can't start any music with it. So. It's every day, isn't it? Every day there's a new challenge. Uh, so we'll put a bit of that on in the background for now. And um, we'll, you know, continue as a fashion as if nothing had ever happened. Uh, hopefully on the bottom of the screen, uh, you can see there is, uh, actually it's over, over there, um, that way. Left a bit, left a bit, left a bit, up a bit, <laughs> down a bit. It's that way. <laughs> That way, that way. Uh, there's a little bar that says, I think something like 96 to 100. So four more follows and I'll get 100. So that'd be a good achievement if we can get that before the new year starts. Um, and uh, you might have noticed in the um, in my cam shot, I'm sporting a new attire. And um, uh, my lovely wife bought me this uh, for Christmas. A Pilot Peely t-shirt um, together with uh, a uh, a Pilot Peely a wine um, well not wine glass but beer glass uh, and I also have a Pilot Peely mug as well uh, so we'll probably get that a little bit later when I send down a request for a cup of tea um, but um, after seeing this I thought oh, you know he's been doing this nearly nearly a year I suppose well no six months at least and um, I probably should have some merch so um, I will be looking into um, sorting that out so if anybody wants to partake in a pilot peely mug or a t-shirt or something of that ilk um, you're more than welcome to and um, yes so uh, here is the Kodiak the Kodiak 100 um, I'm in the non cargo version uh, so there's no pod underneath uh, my aircraft. I see a label over yonder, which is Curious B in a Kodak over there. Um, so let me, let's, let's do one of these and That's one of these. In the van. And um, let's go and see if we can see if I can get that. So here we go. 
there's, there's something going on a bit weird with my controllers tonight. Why did this not do it earlier? And let's go and have a look at some codecs over here and see if it's in a cargo one. No, he's not. There, he's not in a he's not in a cargo one. Excellent. It's one of those plays, but I'll load up the throttle. <laughs> so let's uh, have a quick mooch back over here where we can see now uh, some labels of Captain Spitfire. Guess what? He's not in Spitfire. I think he is. Oh, he is actually. His label he he says Spit. <laughs> um, but you're actually over the top of a. <laughs> if you want to move forward just a tad. Oh, that's an AI aircraft. It's an AI it? aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, who else? Where was the other one? Dougal's over there. He's sporting, I think, the same livery as me. There he is. That's He's in course. the safari wings. Of course, we're in Africa, so why not? And um, as you can see, I've got the doors open over here. Oh, look, I've got an AI spit over here, I think. And that's a, that's a label if I zoom out. That's an AI spit. And then we have Captain Spitfire and his. Now, let me just see. That's a 1A. That's Mark 9. Oh, it's a Mark 9? Yeah, there's no silver 1A. Oh, yeah, but yeah, but how can you tell? Well, the tail. The tail's a different shape completely. It's got a pointed tail. Ah, rather than a rounded top. And it, and, yeah, and a much longer, thinner nose cone spinner. Ah. Well, there you go. I learned something tonight. That's good, isn't it? All right. OK, let's get over there. And um, I'm going to bring up a little nav map because I'm just going to show you where we're going and what we're doing. So we'll just bring up a little nav map like that. And um, so um, the River Nile, it's it's a long river. All right. Um, no doubt about it. It is a long river. Um, and we are going to do um, the whole length of the River Nile. Um, in actual fact, if I actually um, look at some notes here, hopefully not all of it today. Um, I doubt it. It'll be a very, very long evening. Um, 4,130 miles uh, was the original recording of the length of the Nile. Um, but the Nile is actually made up of uh, a number of uh, sources. Um, so actually the Nile starts in the Med and it works its way through Egypt and then it works its way through Sudan and then South Sudan. Um, while it's in Sudan at Khartoum, it branches off into the Blue Nile and it continues as the White Nile. And at Khartoum, um, it's really obvious um, you see the Blue Nile and the White Nile, um, uh, the, the convergence of those is a proper proper word for that. And I can't remember pay, what it's called. Pay attention, boys and girls, because your teacher will be asking <laughs> questions later. Uh, there's, a, there's a proper word for it. What do they call it? Um, um, anyway, the convergence of those two rivers. And in actual fact, the Blue Nile is very br bluey, clear water, while the White Nile is very sort of um, muddy. Um, and uh, the two rivers actually don't mix directly straight away uh, so you see these two distinct parts as it, as it joins and, and flows down towards the med um, the white knoll continues on it goes to uh, lake albert um, and um, that is in uh, um, uh, i think it goes through uganda um, at lake albert and um and then on to lake victoria which was the original declared source um of the nile river however um further um expeditions have 
actually sighted another river that feeds the Lake Victoria uh, from Burundi, uh, which is just south of uh, Rwanda, um, to a particular mountain um, where the uh, river starts and uh, flows down all the way through, I think, three different river names as it goes through the different countries. And um, off it, off it, off it goes into um, Lake Victoria. So there is um, the source in Burundi is actually the furthest point from the Mediterranean Sea, and that has now been declared as the uh, the starting point for the longest uh, or the furthest point of the River Nile, and um, uh, it's added a, a few hundred miles. Um, to the length of the Nile. Um, so, um, yes, so it's, it's found out that the Luv, I'm going to really mess up this name, Luvironza River in Tanzania, which is um, makes it a 4,241 mile uh, river before it gets down to the, um, the Mediterranean. So, of Just course. A quick, a quick weekend jaunt then, huh? Yes. So, um, if you actually look on the map, and I've got the map here, and if I go um, over to, um, uh, which one was giving me a good, uh, I think it was the Atlas. Um, you can sort of see that in the Atlas view. So um, this is um, Lake, uh, I think it's Lake Tana, is it? Um, oh, 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 open to blue map. Yeah, Lake Tanner. Um, and this is the start of the Blue Nile, and you can see it flows uh, in a meandering mountainous route through Ethiopia. And um, there we go, just go back to this view. So this is all in Ethiopia. Just see, see Ethiopia. And um, we get to uh, Fincha, which is where the route stops for this evening. And then uh, we're going to fly it back to the river and then carry on uh, the next leg down to uh, this airport, uh, Damazin. And then on to Khartoum, where it finally uh, reaches the convergence with the White Nile, which is the river coming down uh, this southerly route down here. And this one here goes off uh, on a meandering course into um, Lake Albert and then across into Lake Victoria and then we're going to follow this route here that goes all the way down here uh, down to Burundi and there's a mountain here where it actually starts and um, and and yes it's 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 very long and um, we, we, yeah this 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 section this blue knoll to Khartoum yeah we're gonna do this in three streams to do that um, and uh, the next stream after those three will be from uh, Burundi and we'll make our way uh, up from Burundi and uh, I'm not sure how long it will take probably take um, well one stream to Lake Victoria and then from Lake Victoria we'll start making our way up the White Nile to Khartoum and then from Khartoum, we've got to make our way all the way up through these northern countries, Sudan and Egypt, as we get to, to the Med. So that will probably be another two, two, three, four, five um, streams at least. So I've been missing um, a few chat messages. Um, Thank you for following Peely. Mrs. Peely One. <laughs> Mrs. Peely One, really? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Peely. Hello, Mrs. Peely. Oh, I bet they've Mrs. just created Peely. an account downstairs because they're watching down. downstairs, you see. Hello, Tarnish. Um, and Tarnish, welcome. To the stream have a new year's eve eve yes it's, it is new year's eve eve i've been in denial for years <laughs> oh dear oh dear 
I mean, just got to ask a question. Are we likely to meet General Gordon at some point? I doubt it. <laughs> what about Moses? Are we going to find Moses anywhere along there with his staff to turn it red? Turn oh, red? I don't know. I don't think so. But anyway, it was Moses, wasn't it? It was Moses. Allegedly, allegedly. Yes. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll do some more, um, you know, um, we'll do some more uh, information regarding the Nile a little bit later. So we'll get rid of the map and um, we'll get into the airplane and get going. So I think it's going to be about two and a bit hours for this leg. Um, so we'll get inside and we've got some doors to close. Um, actually, how do I close the doors now they're open? <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, click on the door. Click no. on the click spot. Where's the click spot? I open the door. Ah, oh, there you go. It's a red button here. Oh, there's a red button there. There you go. Oh, it's probably around here then. Somebody else. Look at that. And I've sat on the apron for too long, and I now have a flat battery. And uh, we'll close that one, and uh, we'll close that one. And you've been sat on the apron for too long with your battery on. So there goes a lesson learned. Um, so fuel and weather. So let's have a look. Weather. Uh, I am on live weather and I set the time to uh, about four o'clock. So just go back a little bit. See if I can get to four o'clock. This is so annoying. That was 1604. And hopefully we'll get a nice sunset as we come into land at our destination airport. And we'll get our master battery on. There we go. Garmin's fire up. We'll turn on our avionics buses. There we go. That's all good. And um, we need to turn on fuel. So. Tarnish says that we really important people in the chat are very low. Oh, we can't chat. That. We can't chat. Be that. Chat is very low. I'm very sorry to have you so low. Oh, you're only at 76 go a bit lower. <laughs> I think I'm a bit low. <laughs> uh, right. Hello, Shavis. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tarnish, is that better? Uh, people in chat do a, a five hello, by five. Hello, how are we doing now, Tarnish? Are we any louder? Okay, so we are going to do one of those to turn the fuel on. Left and a right tanks. Marvellous. We have fuel. Okay, let's disappear that. Not and a go lot, down. he says. Not a lot. Okay. You've been pressing buttons again, haven't you? I oh, yeah, know, well, you know. It's probably because the other music is a little higher, maybe. I'll turn that down a bit. Okay, right. I, I've adjusted, so we'll see. Um, nav lights on. Uh, strobe not on yet because I'm not on the airport. Beacon on. Where's my strobe? There's the strobe. Uh, beacon can go on now because I'm about to start this beast. Um, generator and alternator probably can come on. Uh, we need to make sure that we are. Uh, got our ignition on. Uh, fuel pump auxiliary. We'll put that on just to make sure. And what else do we need to do? Uh, da, 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 da. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need pito heat. Well, they're on, but you know we don't really need them. Um, okay, let's see if we can get the starter going. Need to press this. We have a rotation. Okay. I swear, Peely, this sim has got a mind of its own. This time, I've got a root appear on my nav display. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. We're going to a low idle. And I missed it. No, you didn't. I got it. As a very strange display of props. Oh, 
Okay. And I do need that. I know what. I didn't actually have my aircraft sounds on. But there we go. We have high idle. And we have a good start, I do believe. So that looks good. We have. Uh, okay. Hello, Kazaki. Red push rod above throttle. Oh, we, yes. That's that. It does help if I actually put some fuel in, doesn't it? It does. Thank Come you, Kazaki. You were just you were just spinning that prop on the uh, starter. I was spinning the prop on the starter. I was thinking, why is my number so low? Um, okay, so we. Oh, hello. Somehow I managed to turn off my parking brake at the same time. Uh, so we'll turn the generator. Oh, actually, generator on. Uh, also, uh, we don't need the ignition on anymore, and we don't need that anymore. And we have a good style. Eventually. Does the um, fuel pump go back to off as well? I think it does, doesn't it? Uh, it does, because it's a standby. It goes into stay. That's it. Stand yeah, it goes into standby. And um, so now we can do a bit of taxi lighting. Um, strobe will come on later. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. How is everybody else? All eager to go? So let's get going. Turns on a dime, this aeroplane. Sorry about your head, mate. There we go. The, the, the update has now got front wheel steering. Yeah. Yes. I absolutely love this airplane. I think it's a great add-on. So, which way is the wing going? Very little. Um, I'm showing two knots. So, you pretty much take off wherever you like, I think. Uh, take take off towards the sea, that way. <laughs> Follow that Spitfire. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> so we'll go down this way, and we'll take off towards the sea, or the ocean. Sea. Sea. Lake. You don't need that much runway. No, we don't. No. no. Um, but we'll go down this way. Who called for the crew wagon? So, uh, Kazaki says, how are we all doing today? Uh, we're, we're doing good. Not bad at all. I had a few seam issues um, well, earlier <laughs> this afternoon. And um, it appeared a, a PC turn off and on again. Cleared the fault. Uh, we'll see if it returns later in the stream. I feel like I'm doing a Ryanair taxi. So we'll just slow that down a bit. Does anybody know if there's a default key command to reset all the trims to zero? There isn't one specific to this aircraft, but I also couldn't find one, a generic one in the sim. Because that's the one thing this aircraft is sadly lacking. I don't know of one. No. Because if you haven't got um, the little things turned on for when you hover over them, you've no idea what the settings are set to. Because it's got it's got a shed load of trims, you know. It, it, it's got rudder trim and aileron trim. Yeah, there's the aileron trim as well as yeah. as well as the elevator. It's also got a level button. Yeah, that's very useful. Oh. Don't turn it so fast now. <laughs> That's a bit, bit strong in the uh, the turn department there. You, know, you have to be careful in turning up the conditioning lever and the prop lever. Yes. Yeah. Taxi. As I as I remembered and found out. Um, okay, taxi lights. I think I already turned those on, didn't I? Uh, landing lights come on. Uh, and strobe light is one of these. On, good. Hey, Ducky. Good to see you. 
And um, Tony says, I find you Hi, all thanks. soon, just on the end of a flight. Hi, Ducky. Good evening. So, uh, again, we are venturing in a part of the world that we don't normally fly in. I is... think we're flying in a part of the world that hardly anybody ever flies in. <laughs> yes. Been been missing out. Out. Right. So, I think we're good. Is everybody, everybody with me behind? Well, we know someone's in the air. Okay, right. So let's um, let's get cracking. And uh, we're going a bit of. Right. Uh, Ducky, we are departing from H A B D. And uh, so, 70 knots, 80 knots, and 100 knots, and we're airborne. No gear to worry about. So we'll just check. Yes, that was a non-flat landing, uh, landing, takeoff. So I'll try not to keep on uh, rental power, um, but we'll get up to around sort of uh, six, eight, something like that. Try and hold it there. Oh, Ethiopia, that is a very nice place to fly around. It is indeed. So I'll just uh, get my little nav map sorted out because I don't have my route loaded in my aeroplane. Uh, for reasons I won't go into, but it just won't start fly when I'm actually loaded in the airport. So we are now returned back to the airport. We're going home already. And uh, we'll do a circuit this way. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That greenish turquoisey blue. Yeah. What well, is a mine anyway? Yep. So hopefully I'm holding at six nine. Oh no, I'm at seven eight now. <laughs> Let's try and level out at that. What are you looking to level out that? Uh, seven and a half. I'm coming down a bit. Hello, Viper Strike. Hey, Viper. Oh, Viper. I missed that one. How did that get in above Daiki and I didn't he see likes, it? He likes to sneak in, does Viper. <laughs> he, he gets in under the radar. That's so weird. <laughs> oh, now I'm, I'm dropping below seven and a half now, so we'll just trim that back out again. I have actually uh, pulled down my RPM a little bit just to slow down. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try that little trick with the um, with turning off the standby. Do for I'm See if it makes a difference. Say, hey, Viper, are you going to join us in Ethiopia? Nice route. It's in the mountains. Yeah, I got about six to eight FPS that time, I think. Okay, Every so little help. Uh, there's an area here just just um, where my mouse is on the screen, um, which is a. Um, a no fly zone that that square is actually a no fly zone so we have to sort of come around it and Do we um, know what it is 
No, I, don't, I think it's just a military base yeah. or something or other. Um, Dikey says the, 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 bra the breaker number three thing, yes. It seems to work better for some people than others. I, I'm one of the lucky ones that seem to do pretty well from it. What is it you turn off? The um, standby attitude indicator, is it? Yeah, the, the, the little, nap, little tiny nap display on the far left. Yeah. You click on the very bottom number three circuit breaker. And some people get quite a little boost. So there's a little building on top here. I think it's a, um, a monastery or something, because on, on the map, it will actually show with a cross there, like a church on the top of that hill. I think that's that building there. And then we can head out back towards the lake. I'm not being very good with my altitude today. Welcome to cats as well. Oh, another one. Two cats. Another one snuck in under the radar, look. Ooh, Kodiak, yes. Evening, TC. Oh, I know why my trim's not working. For some reason, my autopilot on my hardware has come on and won't go off. Ooh, look who I see in the waiting room. Good evening, Uncle Jim. Hello, everybody. I hope uh, ah. you're doing your... Oh, Seamus. Seamus! <laughs> Dulcet tones of Seamus McNeil. Yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm, I, have, I had no idea Tuesday was Tuesday. I had no idea what time it was today. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. Well, Tuesdays, uh, if you read my notice in um, Discord, yes. yes, Tuesdays was becoming like really tough to find two routes a week to do uh, that of high quality as you expect from my streams um, and um, it didn't really I was getting to the point where I wasn't really happy with a lot of the routes that we were doing twice a week um, and I'd rather spend longer and do one stream with a, a very decent route um, yeah and um, I've, I've seen your routes mate I, you can tell that you spend a lot of time doing them mate you know I mean looking at the freeware scenery, looking up the payware stuff, getting the aircraft. I mean, I know it takes a lot of time, so thanks very much for doing that. But you know what? Every Thursday's going to be grand anyway, I think. Yeah. So, so oh, um, I see Captain Bombasso, and what's more, he's flying a Kodiak. Hey, Two Cats, are you streaming tonight? So um, yeah, the reason for cutting down is also the fact that um, uh, potentially my job is, is going to get a little bit more busier um, later in the year and um, I certainly feel it ramping up already so um, just having that extra time to spend um, it was, it's just uh, getting difficult to do two streams a week so I'm happy we're doing what, just one. Yeah, I agree. Bombasso's in the waiting room, guys. Oh, I've hey, oh, done it. I've just done it. Thank and you. I, um, I, I, I just brought Viper Strike in as well. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if he's flying, but oh, I'm he was, here. Right. I'm he here. was politely waiting, so I thought I'd bring him in. I'm here. Hey, Viper. How you doing? I'm doing well, Peely. I took the Kodiak with me as well. Oh, excellent. Excellent. You won't regret it. It's a great plane. Oh, I took it into Alberta, if you recall. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I caught a bit of your stream, but um, was busy, so I had to drop away. And uh, I, I should have caught a bit more, but um, you know how things go. <laughs> yeah, things went well. The fight in Bolivia last week was wonderful. Thanks, Dougal. It's a nice place to fly. It is. I had to go 22,000 feet. <laughs> wow. Thankfully, I had the plane for the job, so I'm not that worried. So Tugat says, I'll answer that with, does the DC-6 have four engines? <laughs> so yes, he is streaming. <laughs> so we shouldn't be too long on this one. Um, I'm expecting uh, probably two and a half hours or so. Um, we're now flying down at the Blue Nile. We'll be picked it up from the Lake Tanner there. 
and has a little bit of a a delta there as it goes out into the lake got a spitfire to the left this scenery is fantastic this is all default no added weedy bicks or anything like that to the uh, to the scenery <laughs> added weedabix added weedabix yeah <laughs> Have you had your third Weetabix? Oh, there we go. No, I had my ready break this morning. <laughs> All right, okay. So I'm going down to uh, river level at this point. Um, we will go... Um, a lot of the, the time when we're in the mountains, we're actually... Um, well, I'll let it up to you. Oh, wow. He's doing a first time flying with a DC-6 yoke. Oh. Wow, I always thought you flew with a yoke. I guess you were flying with a stick all that time. I wonder if it's the TC. I wonder if it's the Airbus yoke or is it the honeycomb? I wonder what that could be. Uh, I think it's the honeycomb. Pretty sure that TC got the honeycomb. Ah, interesting. You watch. You'll, you'll prove me wrong now. Oh. Uh, so Kazaki, we're on the um, Southeast Asia server. Yep, stick to now. Well, you'll enjoy that. Honeycomb Alpha. So, um, is, is it is it a brand new one? I wonder if they've changed the um, little RJ45 cable <laughs> connector that I have issues with. So I've already changed my connector. Here's my here's my old one. All right. Um, so I've now got a RJ45 that's about an eight inches long, but it's a bit too stiff, and it keeps pulling on the the back of the connector, and it just pulls it out like a, a couple of millimeters, and it doesn't make contact, and all my buttons stop working, which is why sometimes they work like that, and sometimes they don't. See, and um, it goes nice with the Bravo. I have that one. Yes. I've got the Bravo, I sat next door. But, um, yeah. So I've got a flat cable, short, stubby RJ45 coming. Uh, thank you, Amazon. I think it was five pounds something or other. That should be here tomorrow, because I'm... Yeah, you'll need to give it more than a stretch. Because <laughs> it's, it's just a, a relentless pull on that connector. Um, it's just... That's my head in. You, you know, I was on XP72 stream the other day and there was people there do, complaining about the exact same thing. I mean, you know, RG45s were not meant for that constant tugging and pushing uh, and pulling, you know? No. It seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. There we go, yeah. So, um, so guys, I'm just doing 146 on the clock. Um, so hopefully that's not too fast for you guys. I'll uh, slow down a little bit more. So, do you want a funny story, Neil? Yes, sure. So, okay, so, uh, like I said, I had a shower and I thought I'd put my slippers on. Uh, that's not the funny story. I haven't got <laughs> to it yet. <laughs> and and uh, I thought to myself, hang on a minute, what's that smell? So I put my hand on my carpet slipper and put it to my nose. One of my dogs has peed in my carpet slippers. Oh, oh no. So lovely. Oh, 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 oh. Well, oh, at least... Terrible, I that is. Well, I'm glad it wasn't my feet. You know, I, it's like I thought, does my feet really smell that bad? And it's, no, no, it's dog pee, <laughs> so... <laughs> yes. So I, I hope the dog got suitably told off. Ah, there's no point. It really is, though. <laughs> <laughs> Just go and pee on the other one. <laughs> yeah, it was spite, you know. Spite. Yeah, Jackie, I think more and more people are having to make those custom cables. Yeah. That's what Peely's done. So I've, 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 I've got a, a flat RJ45 coming because they tend to be more flexible and um, hopefully that will solve the issue. It's I very annoying. The, sorry, Neil. Um, I have checked the pen. Is it just a straight through or is that a crossover? Do you know? Um, I think it's a straight through. I think it's a straight through. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, Captain Bombasso, how are you finding that baby? Hey, this it's actually really smooth. I'm, I'm really enjoying it, man. I'm, I'm surprised I actually got it in the air in time to catch up with you guys. I, I mean, I just installed it 
it wouldn't run. Um, I just saw it changed all my 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 settings. So I was just yeah, just running for the wind trying to get up here. So, but man, I mean, it's really. It's really nice. I mean, I'm very impressed. It's really, the flight model is super smooth. And yeah. it has what I describe as momentum. You, you feel yeah. you're actually flying something. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah I like it. I'm liking it. Excellent stuff. Uh, Daiki says, <laughs> the dog has been dealt with and the stew was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So as you can see, um, this is rather flat, uh, what we're coming across at the moment, but look what is ahead, folks. The mountains. Peely, I've probably asked you this before a dozen times. Do you have um, that thing with the overlay to show your speeds and everything? Before? It's in Toolkit Pro. Ah. Yes, I do. But I, I need don't, don't to press buttons now because something will break. I, I, I need just... to spend some time just setting it up. Mm. Uh, look out for the giraffes. Uh, I don't know if there's any giraffes in here. Because we had that conversation this afternoon. They did. And, um,. Probably should put the POIs on for fauna to see if there's anything on the, along the route, actually. Yeah, it might be worth it. Same for me, Same for me TC. This, this aircraft is my, my absolute go-to turboprop now. I am yeah. loving this airplane. Yeah, I think this is mine too. Though I still like the PC-6 as a, as a workhorse turboprop, but I do think the Kodiak is the best payware turboprop you can get. Yeah. So I hope everybody's got their Tundra wheels on. <laughs> yes, your 208 has gone into retirement. Mine has gone into a forced <laughs> retirement, uh, mainly because um, every time I load it in, um, I end up with no cockpit interior. So <laughs> ever since you know, update seven. Um, yeah. So um, I can't fly at the minute. I, I had that and, until I had, you know, I was forced into a reinstall fix it. Do you know, the, the thing I hadn't, I thought about this, uh, Dougal, the thing I haven't done is actually um, uninstall it from the uh, marketplace and then reinstall it again. Oh yeah, might be worth a try. Yeah. Yeah. So I might give that a whirl at some point. But look at that for a scene. Look at that. There's a little bit of a wind. Oh two no, this followers. is no wind. Look at that. Just two followers nice. needed. Two more followers! <laughs> if you haven't hit that follow button and you're not already following, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always That's seven. Nothing I'm wrong with that ego, is there, guys? <laughs> no, I'm only two away from. I'm only seven away from 200. <laughs> wow. Good for you. Nice. Well, I got my Christmas gifts uh, yesterday because I couldn't open them at Christmas because my dad had COVID. So oh, nice. I, 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 but yeah, I finally got my gifts. I got my full uh, TCA Quadrant stuff now with the add-on. Uh, I got aviators hat and goggles. I might have to show up Sunday. And I got a VFR sectional map of the United States. Wow. Very, very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I didn't get any simulator related stuff apart from my t-shirt and my beer glass and um, my mug for my tea. Um, yeah, so that was that. That was, it. that was I didn't request anything actually. Daiki says, I'm about <laughs> 2 million followers away from being really famous. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Joey Bolo. Hey, Joey. Evening, How's Joey. How are you doing? Hey. Hope you had Come a good on, Christmas. I hope everybody's uh, 
in chat and uh, am flying along, had a good Christmas and managed to avoid the COVID or at least, you know, a, a viper. I wish I, say, I wish I could say it about myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I was down for Christmas, man. I, I literally caught COVID at work. Oh, to, dear. You know, way before, yeah, but I'm good. I, I'm good. Just uh, by myself, quarantined in the house, and nobody's here. And uh, I've just been uh, doing jack squat, man. Just, just chilling, but yeah. At least you get to stream without interruptions. To, yeah, um, exactly. to play. Yeah, no, no, no dogs, no talking, no nothing. Everybody's just gone. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. but D Dougal, me and you are most of the interruptions, mate. So yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think me and me and Dougal need to uh, be on best behaviour in 2022 for Neil. I think or we could at least tr we can try. Maybe we can try. Yeah, that's do, not good. Don't do good behaviour. <laughs> My blood pumps the wrong way for that. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so Joey says, uh, doing good, guys. Nice to hear some gifts with nice Santa had to skip me this year. Oh. Well, that sucks. Yes. We don't actually do Christmas, but Santa d didn't completely skip me, so... Oh. So that's not my Christmas either. Yeah. Oh, it's just good to have the family round. Oh, we have a Christmas tune. Talking about Christmas, and we get a Christmas tune. How does that work? That's marvellous. Sounds lovely. Vipers over there, look. Bombasso, Dougal Tarnish. Man, this plane is flying lovely. I mean, I'm very, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is really nice. Oh, are we going to get Seamus McNeil in a Kodiak? That um, is the question. <laughs> you pro probably know. I'm just joining because, it, you know, it's like I like to chat with you guys. I'm actually getting ready. I've got a fast paced hike coming up at tonight, so. I'm trying to get all my gear ready, and uh, so I'm just watching at the moment. Okie dokie! But if I get ready in time, I'll certainly jump in for one of the legs, for sure. So, I mean, it's not the most exciting scenery in the world, but it, it, it fills, fills your view at this altitude. And it's good to fly somewhere where we haven't been. It doesn't always have to be super exciting. It's It can be exciting just flying somewhere where we haven't been. Ah, Joey, actually it's not a bad thing. My wife and I gave each other the ultimate gift from a baby girl during summer 2022. Wow. wow. Well, congratulations. Absolutely awesome, that Joey Bolo. I think I do remember you posting that. Like he says, I'm getting some tea and my DC seat's ready for a flight. Have fun, PD pilots. Cheers. Uh, See you later, later Dikey. See you, Dikey. Getting a bit of a gully down here now. Yes. If you want to fly down in the in the valley of the, down there. In the, Hopefully feel yeah. free to do so. I, I might take a plunge down there. Who else is down there? I see we've got Bill and Viper. Viper's down there, yeah. Can you still I... get your ears on, Captain Pitfire? Pardon? Oh, you, you got your ears <laughs> on. Get, thank you very much for your videos. I've watched all of them. They're marvellous, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like I got my sunglasses now to look cool. Yeah, I'm looking at you, mate. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not the silliest thing I got.
This plane handles really well, doesn't it? it, it it's just great. I mean, once you've trimmed it, you know, it's, you know, if you do some really bad turn, uh, you know, crank it more than 30 degrees, you'll know about it. As, as I found out <laughs> this afternoon. Yeah, and on the ground, as, as both me and Peter have discovered, <laughs> if, you, if you're too violent with it on the ground, um, it'll tip over onto its wings. Wing tip. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Viper Strike. Oh, it was pause. Or was he in a ra was he in a mountain? I can't recall. So on Christmas Day, um, missionary bush pilot was giving away his Kodiak um, lessons for free on Christmas wow. Day on how, on how to fly the Kodiak. Yeah, I managed to get it actually. It's like oh, brilliant! Wow. Yeah, it's like twelve videos on how to fly the Kodiak. Now oh, lovely! The Kodiak, though, but uh, <laughs> yeah, more money. I look so ridiculous right now. Nah, you look like a pilot, mate. I'm not sure if that's answered your question, but... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at... I'm just looking at Discord. <laughs> I tell you, I couldn't do that on stream. I'd end up so hot. Oh, I've just seen it. I've only just seen it. Nice one, Vibe. Yeah, me too. Was, um, <laughs> that is awesome. awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's Come awesome. Have a look at young Viper Strike. My wife's coming to have a look at you, Viper Strike. That's his, one of his Christmas presents. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Very cool. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Dougal. Hope you're uh, having a uh, nice day. Head in the background there. <laughs> that looks excellent, Viper. I, can, I, I, can... Thought, I thought you were kidding when you, when you said, yes, I can see you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was thinking, oh, is he streaming as well? Is he is he doing a joint stream? <laughs> now that's in Discord, I was thinking, oh, why there, there must be something in Discord going on. So it's, it's a very interesting, I mean, uh, there are people living here. If you actually look around, you see the odd house and, um, you know, um, cultivated fields and, and, and stuff like that so people are living around this I suppose as long as they can get some fresh water then it's it's livable isn't it uh, I see Joey Bolo is actually with us he's behind us are you coming into voice chat Joey so he is he's, uh, he's in a two eight yep oh yeah because trying to type while flying these canyons is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> no. I think I might might drop down into the canyon actually and have a look down there. The um, the masking, the water masking leaves a bit to be desired in some places, but it's still pretty good for completely default out of the box scenery. I think yeah. it's excellent. And, and bearing in mind that this area has not been touched by Microsoft yet from a, you know, correcting the masks and uh, I'll other tweaks. <laughs> Is the music uh, coming across in the stream, Seamus? Can you hear that? No, um, I'm on the Discord, mate. Let me have a... Oh. I'm on the Discord. I'm, I'm on your... It, it is, yeah, I can yeah. hear it. I just turned it on. Talking of which, um, I think it was possibly Ford yeah it was Forder's stream I was on fairly recently and I'd I'd muted his stream and was chatting with him with a couple of other pilots on Discord before I realized his music was coming through the Discord channel <gasps> so it so it can be done I'm gonna have to send him a DM indeed and especially being as he's Forder has got such fantastic music taste what are you trying to say there, Dougal? <laughs> as if I would say anything. As if I would say anything. <laughs> this is this is actually epidemics. Um, 
What do they call this album? Uh, oh, it's, it's their now trending album. So, um, Dakey put me on to um, something good in Epidemic when I was watching his stream the other day. Um, and if you guys haven't checked out Dakey Decimus, by the way, it's some really chilled, laid back streams. Um, on Epidemic, look up um, Blood Red Sun. Um, a musical duo, called, well, they're a band really called Blood Red Sun. It's like, um, well, it's alternative indie, is what it's listed as. Um, also I available on Spotify. Yeah, it's I, also I, on Epidemic. I, I still need to probably get Epidemic at some point to be with the rest of you guys. I still probably need to get it at some point. Uh, you could also try uh, try Stream Beats if you don't want to pay. Uh, subscription stream beats um, by um, Harris Heller. Yep. I just find his tracks are a little off the wall, <laughs> or somewhat more off the wall than Epidemics. And it, it's interesting. Some of the TV adverts I, I see on TV, I sit there and go, I recognise that tune in the background. So um, Epidemic, obviously. Uh, it's being used by some commercial outfits as well. Uh, Captain Bombasso, the other thing I gather about this is the um, this aircraft is that the NXI mod apparently integrates perfectly. Okay, I did that change. Check that out. Uh, so Joe Bola says, I wish uh, just oh, following, God. but while working. Okay, uh, this river valley looks great. It does indeed. Uh, good vibes, he says, as a little emoji. Excellent. He says, um, yeah, I like epidemic sound so far as well. Uh, I just might subscribe to it. Hey, as a regular subscriber, it's, it's, it's pretty cheap. Um, it's just the fact that you, you can, um, you know, play some decent music on stream without any uh, copyright hits. And a lot of these uh, musicians are actually, you know, on Spotify as well. So I'm doing what, 139, 140? I'm on rental at the minute just because I dropped back a bit. Captain Spitfire's there. Joe Bolo is bringing up the rear there. I can just see Dilgo Matavich coming around the corner. I'm doing 143, mate. Okay. I think Captain Babasso is a bit can. further back somewhere. I think I'm up, up the rear, I think. I think Dougal's at the rear. Dougal's at the rear. Curious B is up ahead. Captain Spitfire is doing about 400 million miles more than anybody else. <laughs> I'm actually doing 170, I think. <laughs> I'm actually going slow because I was ahead of you all. I'm doing 138. Uh, what Spitfire failed to tell us is that's miles per second, not miles per hour. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's getting steep up the side. No. Drop down a little bit. This would actually be a great aircraft to do the um, Chilean flight again, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it'd be awesome. What did we do it in before? Uh, Cap 10, wasn't it? Really? I thought we, uh, oh, no. It must have been a turboprop. No, it had to be a turboprop. 
What road was it? Was it a TV uh, in then? Bolivia and Chile. Uh, Cap 10, wasn't it? Yeah, we did it in Cap 10. Cap 10? Really? Wow. Goes to show what a great little airplane that is. Yeah, I like that too. And that Christmas, didn't we, or something like that? Yeah, then. Yeah, have, have we done it twice? Because we did it once with Simwings and then didn't we do it again with you, Neil? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So in Simwings, I think we did it. Did we do it in the King Air? Uh, I, I can't yeah, remember. I, I believe we did because I, I, I crashed because I couldn't get enough uh, <laughs> altitude. So, yeah. <laughs> And then on my stream we did it in the cap 10 yeah which was the chat the challenging one because you needed to get needed to climb early it needed to climb in that thing Smooth ride. And we have found some areas of scenery where it's a very um, a low resolution tile. Um, but that's to be expected. This is not, I can imagine, a very well photographed from satellite area. I went back over one of those areas shortly after we flew that and uh, got exactly the same stutters again. So it's definitely those little open patches yeah. that are causing some stutters. Uh, maybe it's the sim, you know, searching for a tile. Or a high resolution tile. What are you doing up there, Spitfire? Rolling up and down hills. He's in the waiting room. Somebody managed to drag him in. Tarnish, I don't see you. What are you flying? Oh, I just caught, yeah, just caught your label. I'm in the 172-1000, I think. No, sorry, I'm in the caravan. I'm a little way behind everybody else. We've got an airport coming up soon. There's very few airports on these routes. Um, so I was thinking that maybe we should uh, incorporate some landing outs at some point. A nice little plateau somewhere. Yeah. 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 With these mountains, no wonder the Italians had a difficult time uh invading the place back in 1895 yes it's a bit like um you know any mountainous region like even you know, afghanistan and stuff like that it's it's, it's all mountains so i'm just trying to see if there's a plateau around i'm going to need to come up in altitude see what we got a 
be nice when they bring out the float version. Could just land on the river. Tarnish, I believe Tarnish is in the waiting room. No, he's he's in. He's, he's in now. He's in. I'm sorry. I saw the thing. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Tarnish, mic check. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Loud and proud. You know what it is. We Brits all sound the same to you, don't we, Viper? Basically, much. <laughs> there you go. I can't even believe that. <laughs> no. Hey, Viper, up ahead of you, I think, there is a, a little light patch of dirt on the left-hand side of the river bank. Is it flat? Uh, let me go check. Can you... It's hard to say, can you see where I'm looking, but... Because <laughs> I'm way behind you. Make sure you invoice him, Viper, for this spotting. <laughs> yeah, um, I think there is on top of the thing. Oh, I wasn't I... thinking on top. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Mind you, the Kodiak doesn't need much of a runway or a... It doesn't, no. Who is it? I mean, I don't know why I'm now, because it's I, pretty... I, I, I may want to try and land up there then. Ah, oh, come on. Um, I am closing in midair right now. Oh no, no, yeah. no. Oh no. And I can see you guys. I can literally see you guys flying off, and I'm just sitting here. <laughs> that's crazy. That's is awesome. It is the sim frozen? No, that's the thing. I can. I'm literally seeing all you guys fly off, and I'm just sitting in one spot. And I don't see. I mean, it's just literally. You've not had much luck with your Microsoft install, have you? No, not, not, not lately. Huh. Well, if we touch down somewhere, it, there's a there's a big flat area where I am. Oh, you're you're just approach, just going over it now, Neil. Yeah, it's, it's where you have got the the the, well. the 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 yeah. masking of the rivers a bit wonky. Yeah, there's so, a bit on the right by where I am. Okay. Yeah, I'll load back up here in a second. Oh, there's a, the bit to the right. Yeah, just uh, Captain Spitfire's just gone past it as well. That looks yeah. like a nice little... Uh, it almost, almost looks like an island. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay, I, I've just overflown that. It looks a bit round on the top. But... It, it does. That's why I chose it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be the easiest. Uh from any direction as well. There's no wind. Uh, One or two knots. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a UE to go in. Okay. All right. Flaps one. There's a new follow, Peely. Oh, who was Abitech that? Abitech 320. Thank you very much for the follow. Just one more for 100. One more for the 100. Avoid the trees. Oh, that was a bit firm, Neil. That's actually not as big as it looks, oh, oh, that, oh. Um, that ridge. <laughs> that was some rough landing. <laughs> Oh dear. What's, that... nice about this, what's nice about the, uh, the quadrant add-on is now I have access to the flaps. Yes. Yeah. So that means I can put on flaps without having to go to my joystick. Oh, Captain Spitfire, oh. are you actually going to stop? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh, and down. <laughs> At least this thing has a brilliant reverse. It's because we're on a hill as well, so I went down it. Yeah. Are the, are the trees solid or can you go through them? I have uh, no idea. I avoided them. The question is, oh, how are we going to take off? Bounce bounce bounce, 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 bounce. That's bounce. what I did. Down, though. Was that Kazaki in that blue one? That was an excellent landing. He, whoever was behind me did remarkably well to stop. 
because I had that, the answer. Uh, that was that was me, Dougal. Oh, is it? Okay. Digging these bush lands are kind of my specialty. <laughs> Are you respawning, Bombasa? Oh, have we lost him? Take look down there, Hilo. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Also... Oh, yeah, this thing's also got a parking brake, so it's nice to have. Are we missing anybody? Uh, Bombasso is still on the missing list. Captain Spitfire, Viper, Dougal, uh, Curious B uh, has just gone off. Joey Bolo is still airborne. Joey Bolo is still uh, airborne. Uh, he's circling in the 208. Alright. Uh, I see Tarnish I in the long part of the hill. Here's Joey Bolo coming in. Oops. I nearly went into that mountain. <laughs> Looks like you're doing a bit of rock climbing there, Neil. <laughs> nice landing, Joe Bolo. Especially for that aircraft. Now just now you've got to throw the anchors out. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Yeah. Captain Spitfire, you coming in? That's quite good, especially considering that the 208 is going to take longer to uh, land than the Kodiak is. He's yeah, curious, Ben. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's a bit right wing down. <laughs> yeah, I know. The reverse pressures on it don't work as it should. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Curious B, did you find that the actually does stall a little bit when you get a bit too slow on a very steep uh, turn? <laughs> you are. I don't worry about it. I did exactly the same the other day. Did I just see another label, didn't I? Okay. When I told you that I had to interface, it's <laughs> happening again. Right. Off we go! You're down the other end. No, you mean you're down the other end. We're all down well, the other end. I'm taking off into wind. <laughs> all two knots of it. <laughs> yes. I, think I might even indulge in a, in a notch of flaps for this. I'm liking this aeroplane more and more. Yeah. Joey's gonna hang there and watch the departures. Oh, I see a Bombasso label. But I'm not sure it's moving. Oh, it is. It's got altitude. We're not actually that far away from the first airport.
Oh look, there's a nice flat plateau we could have tried. <laughs> now he tells us. Just on my left. Yeah. Nice brown field. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the failure earlier. I had to, I forgot to trim this thing. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I forget, this is not like other planes. I have to trim this thing properly. <laughs> Actually, they're very flat here, aren't they? Looking at that. Yeah. Yes, that would have made a good landing spot. Well, all along that left bank. Yeah. So up here, we are going to deviate a little bit away to Hammer. Hotel Alpha Mike Alpha. I think it's uh, how many how many miles is it? I think it's like thirteen miles, something like that, off route. It's quite a nice little airport. I actually tried to attach the Dougal to, to jump back in, and uh, it put me across the other side of the world over here. Oh, my God. <laughs> no really... idea why. You're probably at the airport, are you? No. Actually, I was in a field of nowhere. I've been, literally. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, um, one more question. Um, how do I turn off this engine... Engine Inlet MRM, where can I find that? I gotta turn that off. Oh, in, oh uh, engine, engine Inlet Normal. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't stop the red warning though. You've got on the on the switch panel in front of you, at the bottom left hand corner, you've got the engine inlet switches. Only the second one is operational. You can have it on bypass or normal. Basically, it's the inertial separator. Um, but it doesn't always stop the red warning message. It's in white. It's in white? Uh, yeah, I've seen that message come up. Try, try switching from normal to bypass. Um, to bypass. Okay, I switched to bypass. See, mine, mine comes up in green on my display. Yeah. Mine's in Same white. Here. Bizarre. So I don't really know what that means. No. It's probably dependent on another switch as well then. Hmm. I probably should read the manual that came with this, shouldn't I? It's got quite a good manual as well. And the other thing is, of course, because it is so realistic, you can actually use the um, the true to life flight tutorials. I didn't actually turn on my despond uh, my desponder. Desponder, <laughs> you love it. <laughs> my transponder. I love whatever you're drinking. Yeah. PFD options, wind, there we go. Option three is the one I like. Same grade, same grade. Oh yeah. Oh, Miami. Oh, Philly Roche with the fall number 100. Oh, wow. Now, Philly, Philly Roche should, should get something special for that, even if it's only a cheer. Philly Roche, thank you for the follow. Oh. Oh, number 100. Hey, Hammy, how's it going, my friend? I just dragged Hammy in from the waiting room. Oh. Good evening. Good evening. Oh. 
Good evening, oh, well, War Hamster. He's flying and, as uh, well in the spit. Uh, label, he is indeed, yeah. So we were going to fly up the valley, weren't we? Um, this valley here to get to the airport. Easily missed if you're not paying attention. <laughs> I thought it was perfect time to turn. So, Hammy, you want to take a, a left turn up that river that's about to come up on your left-hand side. Thank you. I can't see much down here, I must admit. <laughs> it's, it's, you're, you're, I can just see your label coming up to it. Oh, yeah, I got it. There, there is actually a, a small airport up there somewhere. Yeah, you got to go... A grass strip. Oh, idea. Fly down the river. There's a few um, cloud covered ortho here. But we'll forgive them because it looks good. Uh, we'll, we'll just pretend it's African snow. Well, it could be at this altitude. <laughs> well, I think I saw the outside air temperature was uh, 18 oh. degrees. Looks great at 15.15 UTC. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm at 17.09. Uh, one, uh, one more thing, we're going to have to climb up an altitude. I'm going to hit the 9,000. we got to climb. That is correct. At the end of this valley, we do have to climb. Because the altitude for this airport is uh, 8,362 feet. It's a bit bumpy here as well. Very odd music. Uh, there's another there. follower. There is another there follower. Well, yeah. Alpha Fox. Thank you very much for the follow. Are these um, follows coming up on the stream, by the way? No, no, I'm not seeing any overlays. Hmm, I thought I fixed that today. I, I, I guess not. <laughs> That's the answer to that. I'm just going to start at the juncture of those two um, rivers there and we'll just start a gentle climb. It's a bit bumpy up here. Our cable's not working again. Yeah, Jerry Bolo, those numbers are also typical of the... Um... Microsoft updates when you're installing updates it, it, it generally says things like 100 101 of 100 like Microsoft can't count I can turn off my goal now oh, I've reached it there we go now you need to set yourself another goal now That's well, yeah, yes yes but it's hard to do that midstream <laughs> there's a fool here look <laughs> Who are you calling a fool? A nice waterfall. <laughs> hey, Dougal, I think for tomorrow I'm going to probably take the Yunkers for tomorrow's fight with Murph. Right. I see Minty was, uh, was flying the Yunkers today. So I think um, for this landing, we're going to come in on 05. Oh, I'm still way too low. And apparently this also has an auto rod. I have a rudder trim setting on this thing too, for my new uh, setup. 
There's the airport over there. Feet on pedals. Nice bit of formation there, guys. And turn on final. Uh, you'll find that this is um, a banana shaped runway. Oh, it's that one, is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think the guys who laid the uh, who laid the turf for this runway had been drinking all morning. Have to look out for some slippage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Next one. It's not even remotely straight, is it? No. <laughs> I'm still a nice curved approach in this thing, I think. Oh yeah. I'll go around him. Well, hello there, Donger man. Um, I agree with you. The game is absolutely stunning, and mind you, this is base too. Now, is that Donger man or Donger man? Donger man, I believe. <sighs> Welcome to chapter. Yes, as Joey Polo says, runway deviation gives a whole new meaning to the term. It does. Of course, your um, your beat of throttle doesn't work so well at high altitude, does it? No. <laughs> Sorry guys, just to explain my absence. She who must be obeyed turned up with a phone to say it's been asked to go and get a a, a, a test for COVID. Uh -huh. And so I've been filling, I'm still in the process of filling it all out on the phone so they send it to her at home. Because it just says she's been in contact with someone and she needs to have a PCR test. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Okay, no worries. And that's why I landed on the head. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll come and join you as soon as I've done all this. Okay. Let's see if I can get it must some be pretty people interesting landing. to land a spit on that runway, keeping it on the line, if there was a line. Well, the, not too bad the, actually. The bendy uh, runway, you mean? Yeah. So here we'll, we'll sit here and we'll see the uh, Dougal Metavish. Oh, who's coming in first? Is it Viper? Vi Viper's Viper. in front of me. Yeah. I think I'm. Uh, I'm last. Oh no, Hammy's behind me, but he'll he may still reach the runway before I do. Um, uh, on stableapproach.com. <laughs> As you say, I think this was made on a, a late Friday afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a Friday tea time runway. That's nice. And yeah, here's the nice, spit. Nice and, nice and smooth. Is he down Anybody yet? Can land Is he in down a yet? I, st I stayed off the brake, Sammy. I stayed off the brakes. Oh, Hammy's uh, only just well, down. I'm just standing to your right. <laughs> okay. I knew you were there because I could hear you. <laughs> Is he actually going to stop? That's oh, long enough, isn't it? That's fine. <laughs> uh, so, Donga Man says that I got my third shot two days ago. I've had an awful fever since. Oh, well, hopefully it doesn't last too much longer. Same as that dog run, I got a, I got a booster on the 28th, and I'm, I feel pretty good now, but I'm sweating like hell, so. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it, how it affects different people in different ways. Yeah. Well, you are in Africa now. Oh, well, yeah, there is that. So, just to let you know, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, going off the, <laughs> I'm going off the edge here and there's this great valley around here look at that yeah that's amazing isn't it 
Okay, so um, we are straight out. Turn around and go straight out. Uh, it's now a crosswind ish. All of three knots. All of three knots. So, um, yes, off we go. We could always go over the edge. So. Oh, does it if I take my parking brake off? In outside view, with a whole bunch of these Kodiaks, it sounds like a, a swarm of angry mosquitoes. <laughs> Let's see if we can get us all departing at the same time this time. Yeah, I hear you, Dunger. I got a, I had two AstraZeneca's and then I got a Moderna. I'm not sure if that was a bad combination. I, I had um, two AZs and uh, a Pfizer for the booster. Dunga says, uh, yeah, my fever was absolutely awful yesterday. Now it's better, but I got rid of a headache and some light headedness. Maybe dehydration from yesterday's fever. Yes. Lots of water. Carlsberg. <laughs> Carlsberg has water. Yes. So I see. Taking a drink. Okay. Uh, rock and roll. There's water in my beer. I've just realised the music has gone quiet. Ah, uh, I see. With us all being on Discord, we can't tell you. But. Having just taken off, now if you follow me to get back to the river, there is a valley. And a road down there somewhere. And you can just see the the water. Flights with Joel. Good evening, sir. Or good afternoon for you. Flights with Joel. Welcome to the stream and chat. Have all Moderna. Hello, hello. Sun glistening off the that water there. That must be uh, a hell of a, uh, a falls off the edge here. Deal with us, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm just sorting out a load of stuff here. Like I'm saying, it's a it's a fast paced hike. It's only eight kilometres, but. Uh, I've got my maps all sorted out and everything here, so, yep. Uh, thank you for the follow, Dongerman. Look at this lovely road here that somebody's built. Yeah, that's something else, isn't it? It's like a yo-yo road. That's like a top... I was going to say a top gear, but it's actually now... Um... Yeah, that would be um, good fun on a Mark 1 Escort. Yeah. Mark 2. <laughs> yeah. And it starts way at the top here. I mean, it's, it's all twisty turny, and then down that section. Excellent. We like that bit of road. Right. Uh, let me just sort out some music. Okay. So uh, we played that. Uh, do you know, uh, let's have some cinematic. Oh. 
Oh, there's another ziggy zaggy bit there, look. Cinematic travel. Sorry, I'm going all over the place while I'm looking at sorting out the music there. Finding the most appropriate tracks for where we are. It's a good job it's Hammy and Captain Spitfire that's on that's staying with you then, because yes. they're the only two that could. <laughs> You're prepared on your money there for a minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll, I'll try and improve my flying. Nah, you just do what you're doing. There's no not much jeopardy in Microsoft, <laughs> unlike a certain other simulator where there might be uh, rather more explosions. Quite hard flying backwards, or flying forwards but looking backwards. So we're back at the river, the Blue Nile, and we have how much further to go before we get to the end? 122 nautical. So it's going to be a shorter stream this evening. Is that a ramp out down there? Welcome to chat, Abitech. Abitech! Do I still fly X-Plane? I still have it installed. But... Do I fly it? I ha I haven't started it for a while, to be honest. Probably a bit late now. Um, flights with Joe, but let us know what you had when you come back. We like food. Oh, has he gone food hunting? I've just um finished off our last two homemade crisp uh, mince pies so I'm all right yeah <laughs> I've missed a few comments there longer man says love how chill the stream is well that's that's how we like it to be <laughs> fairly chilled out you know we're Wait, not too it? hung up on procedures and stuff like that yeah we do try and do Proper startups, and uh, but the main enjoyment is is to fly in places that you've never been to. And um, Peely, just, Peely, just tell them the truth, man. We are the coolest GA pilots you will ever know in this <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> that that is how you say it. I'm just saying nice. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, man. Said by the man himself. Yes, sir. We got Hammy doing some aerobatics oh. there. Hammy oh, slightly overkicked that one. Yeah, I saw the other. Whoops, I've done that a bit too hard. <laughs> I think Hammy forgot which sim he was in then. Yeah. Um, this one's a tad more forgiving. Yeah. Uh, Dongaman goes on and says, I've got to get back into Flight Sim and play some FS Economy. Never was able to figure out the autopilot in this. Um, do you know, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it can be frustrating actually working out autopilots in, in some of the GA air, aircraft because they are, some are really easy and some are a little bit more more tricky. Um, I think tube liners it's probably fairly straightforward on most most of them, I would say. 
and you've got an FMC and you plug in all your your route and you press AP and you know that's pretty much the same here but it helps if you have hardware it makes your life a lot easier to control the autopilot but yeah I was gonna say all I do is press a button yeah exactly <laughs> You know, that was one good thing that I wish um, Honeycomb would do, and that's the autopilot that um, Sartek have. I think it's yeah. one of their bit... It's a bit tacky, you know, the buttons are a bit cheap, but it does a, it does a grand job, you know? Yeah. The biggest problem with the Sartek one, which is what's caused the destruction of my last two Sartek panels, is the far left-hand rotary dial um, that falls mm. apart after a while. But I have to say that the honeycomb stuff hasn't really fallen apart. It's actually fairly robust. I was expecting to have something apart from the RG45. Um, but yeah. Especially when you consider it hasn't actually got any springs in it. It's made with bungee cords. Yeah. I would have thought they'd at least dry out or yeah. start cracking and stuff like that. Not that I've looked inside, but... Uh, but you know, Yoko the Yoke also uses bungee cords, and what's that? It's like a... Yeah, yeah, look at the price of that thing. I know, a lot of money. I've seen that advertised on Facebook t to me, and I think, never heard of these guys. Uh, and then I clicked on it, and the price is just astronomical. Yeah. But I've never seen fair. a review. Um, a lot of the top streamers uh, reviewed Yoko the Yoke. Um, people like Frugal. Um, I, don't, I, I can't. I'm pretty certain that they get given it to review rather than they oh, buy absolutely. it. absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I've tested one a long time ago when it first came out, and um, there's a few uh, flight schools, you know, certain flight schools that actually use that yoke. Uh, I mean, the field is amazing. I mean, yeah. I, honestly, it's the closest you're going to get, you know, but the price range is ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, I, honestly, I don't feel like uh, they're releasing out anything but the, but the honeycomb. The honeycomb is awesome. Because, I mean, the Yoko Yoke doesn't even have any buttons on it, does it? No. Or maybe and, you know, and, you know, two or three of that. It's a big metal box and, yeah. and a yoke that barely had anything else on it. So. Uh, Last time um, I saw it, it was over $1,000. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's, it's not worth the money, you know. In that, I mean, maybe for a flight training schools or something, maybe, but no. Yeah. Um, I wish I could get my hands on the. I can't remember the company. Uh, there, there's actually has. Um, it's all motorized, so when you have it on autopilot, it moves, and uh, you know when it feels friction, it does all that stuff. Wow. You know, turbo turbulence, but uh, you know, of course, that's going to cost you a pretty penny too. Yeah. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about, Bamba, so I've seen that as well, and I just yeah. drool over it, you know. I'll never get it. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Nice to look at, though. Yeah. Is that like, you know, like a force feedback type thing? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. But uh, as I'm hearing, it doesn't really add anything to it. Like, I mean, it's cool to have that resistance, but, you know. Oh, we've got Renoir with us up there as well. I see another Renoir. Spin. Yep. Hello, Remar. I've got a question that Avitech asked. Uh, did you like it or not? So referring to X-Plane, yes, I loved it. I, I mean, I was playing X-Plane uh, a long time, obviously, before Microsoft came out. Um, and I did used to do tubes, tube liners. Um, but I probably spent most of my time in GA aircraft. And as soon as Microsoft came out, um, there was no going back for for GR VFR flying or GA VFR flying because I don't have to spend hours of my day downloading Ortho to make it look this good. You know, there's 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 zero hours of download of Ortho in this sim, and look how good it looks. And you'd never get this out of the box in X Plane. And, um, you know, for, for that reason alone, I wouldn't go back. No, if, if GA and VFR is, is your thing, and it certainly is mine, as it is most people that are in this stream, 
um, then this is this is the sim that's uh, that's probably f for you. So Streamlabs got you there. <laughs> the tech. Yeah, I, I spotted that. You have all sighted stuff works well in X-Plane. The only me is I have with X-Plane is Syrian airports that could improve that. Well, you know. <laughs> Peely, Streamlabs is having a go at you there too. Is it really? It is indeed, yeah. Apparently you haven't trained her well enough. <laughs> oh. Uh, That's because yeah, I, I took Streamlabs out of being a mod. Yeah, because it's we ignored it. We ignored it and let Streamlabs deal with it. Because I didn't want to use Streamlabs anymore. It's slash mod, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Yes, forward slash mod space name. Yeah, I went away from Streamlabs and I use Stream Elements now. Um, yeah, well, that's what I use. And I, for some reason, Streamlabs yeah, thinks it's still there. I, I, do, I, do, I do it too with the Stream, stream Elements. But stream members is not showing in the pop-ups when people follow on the on the stream. No, no, it's not. It's showing them in chat, but it's not showing. I have a program on the... called Streamlabs. Oh, uh, Streamlabs Live. OBS Streamlabs li uh, Stream Elements Live. That's why I use for it. Ah, uh, maybe I need to install that as well because I'm not using that. No, you you don't need to, mate. Um, oh. You don't. You, I just use basic OBS straight out of the box and then stream elements is fed into that you don't you don't need to i know you can like uh, viper is using there but you don't have to oh remwell's doing some very strange maneuvers there i spent ages watching renoir and captain cody last night flying as a pair in spitfires absolutely amazing what's your speed Pilly? Uh, probably rental. Yeah. Uh, 147. Okay. Uh, I shall reduce that down. We're all pedalling very hard back here. Can't spend too much time outside the cockpit and not looking at what's actually going on inside the cockpit. I'll be curious to see exactly what X Plane 12 does offer. Um, I, I very much doubt I'll, um, I'll install it, but be curious to see what they'll do. I'm probably not even going to bother with X.12, just stick to flight Microsoft Flight Sim. I mean, if I've already spent a lot of money on Microsoft, I'm not moving to x -Plane. No offense to the people who make x -Plane, just... How dare just... you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> I, I do not appreciate any of this conversation. I'm not going to explain, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I look from... <laughs> Uh, this, yes. this is this is like talking politics or religion, isn't it? <laughs> no, I'm not. I, it's just how I feel. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I think there are things that's fine just better, but I'm just not as interested as sticking with this. But I mean, yeah. I, I'm interested to see if you guys can prove me otherwise. Maybe I think. You want to fly. Really is it Google? I said it depends entirely what you want to fly. Yeah. And that, that's, that's the thing. Not, like, that's what I'm thinking about too, because I'm a GA guy. Microsoft Flight Sim just way better for GA for me. Because uh, I mean, I have to admit that I actually was uh, I did some uh, instrument flight in some of the smaller jets in X plane last night. Actually, uh, I feel a little dirty. I actually, uh, you know, have my laptop and then my of course my rig, you know, and I had Microsoft flying on the laptop and I was flying. Explain on the big rig. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, that was that was a fun night. But uh, yeah, I, that, I literally that's spent quite time down. dedication, isn't it? Right there. It, yeah, yeah. I was I was conflicted in so many ways, man. I, I didn't know what to do. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
but uh yeah i mean i'm still downloading ortho for x playing them you know because I'm, I'm really starting to get heavy into the uh instrument stuff you know since you know i'm doing every you know doing my training on the back end so uh yeah x plane has its its things and uh i noticed that the uh their um weather and, and everything looks really good but until you look um because they posted uh Somebody posted, you know, X Plane, yeah, X Plane, and then Microsoft on top, and I mean, you know, the clouds and everything looked they actually look amazing. X Plane, they doing a great job, but then you look down at, I think it was New York's, uh, New York City scenery, and it looked like it was like a, uh, like a dry studio box, just kind of, you know, just, you know, blown all across the, uh, the ground. It's like, wow. Yeah. And of course, you know, you know, Microsoft looked amazing. You know, it seemed looked amazing. So. But, but I mean, it makes sense, but it makes sense though because Microsoft also is Bing, whereas the people of Xplane they just do it on their own. Yeah, that's another now, thing you have to consider context. Yeah, exactly, and um, I mean just you know just the buildings themselves and uh, whatever what's, what is Microsoft using uh, to get the imagery uh, with Bing? Uh, I think something else that they're using for the three D you know to like, capture the three D scenery. Um. um uh, I know it pops up all the time when you first load up too, but um, yeah, it's a uh, black uh, something, isn't it? Something, bl bl yeah, black box or black something, yeah, black box AI and, uh, or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, I mean, I was really hoping that Mr. M Mr. Michael would, you know, somehow get to Google and say, hey, can you, you know, pay X amount to get, you know, uh, Google Earth scenery? Yeah, that's and never going to happen. That's uh, never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it, oh, because you know, Google wants to get paid, man. You know, they yeah. want probably obviously millions for it so uh and there's no way that microsoft are going to give money to google for anything <clears throat> exactly so it's uh yeah i guess i'll still be sticking to you know now when, when i you know i have my certain you know custom settings for um uh, ortho xp and i mean honestly now you know not being you know arrogant nothing but you know it destroys the way you know it, it looks for microsoft but you know, I'm losing out what another fifty percent or something else. So, yeah, it's 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 a it, I'm torn, man. Cause I love both yeah. sims. So, yeah, every sim is a compromise, isn't it? Really. You know? Yeah. If if Microsoft and Asobo can get their reliability issues and their stability improved, it would I think it would be a very different. We, we'd see very different figures. Um, yeah. But so many people, yourself included, especially Bombasta, so many people are, are so frustrated with reliability and stability with with, with Microsoft. Yeah, I mean, I was down for almost a week or two, even after completely wiping it out, reinstalling it. You know, I'm, I'm not doing anything extra. You know, I keep it really vanilla. And even when I had the vanilla install, it wouldn't work. And it's like, so that's why I went back to x -Plane again. It's like... You know, yeah, yeah, I'm working. I got Vulcan. You know, I have, I have, uh, you know, all my, you know, awesome also blown. You know, and I have my planes that I love. And it's like, well, okay, well, Microsoft is gonna put you down for a minute. So down yeah, I suppose the, the the great uh, thing is that we have got other Sims to be able to turn back to. Exactly. And uh, Dougal forced me to basically buy this Kodiak, and I'm in love with Kodiak. <laughs> I had your arm twisted up your back, didn't I? Bro, yeah, I'm glad I did it, man. Like I was literally rushing, trying to get to get to the stream, and I downloaded, installed it, and uh, you know, asked him, "Hey, how you land this thing real quick?" And he gave me some info, and and uh, man, like right now, you know, minus that little lockup, like the sim is running butter smooth, the scenery looks great, this plane is like rocking. I'm like, I'm completely happy. So. You know, it's like a girlfriend that dumps you and comes back every other week. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah I'm really enjoying it. Now. So, I, I've also been enjoying the new Freedom Fox from Barrel 42. That's a really nice little bush yeah. plane. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. And I can understand that, Joel. I really can. I mean, that's one thing that x -Plane definitely does a million times better, and that's Helos. <laughs> Yeah, I think the scenery in x 12 is probably going to get a little bit better, you know, from tree, trees and, and uh, uh, auto gen and stuff like that, heavy tech. Um, Flights of Joel says, I tried to go back to x to test helis, but I get tired of it pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. 
And that's the thing, is that you get spoiled in one scene for one particular part of it, and when you go yeah. to the other one and it's missing, you think, eh. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing, for my level of flying, I never really compared them. I was just running out of money trying to keep them all yeah. invested in aircraft <laughs> yeah. scenery. Because I had prepared 3D, which, which I had after FSX, which I still have. I still run FS2004. So wow. an X plane and MSFS, so I had them all, and I enjoy them all. Just but there's only so many hours in the day, you know. Yeah. So and only and only so many dollar bills in the wallet. Yeah, you know, <laughs> ten years from now we're going to be on X plane 15 and MSFS 20 20. 10 or whatever the heck it is, you know, 2010, whatever, 2030. <laughs> <It's> 2010, <yeah. laughs> You know, I, th I think there's uh, there's going to be a market for both of them for a long, what, years to come. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the crazy thing. You, you hear a lot of uh, uh, weird talk about, you know, oh, you know, uh, x is going to go into the dirt and, you know, they're going to just fade out, you know. It, you know no, it's that, like, won't it, that won't yeah, happen. That won't Everybody see the brand new pretty toy here, and, and then nothing else can, you know, can, can last. I'm like, you got to understand, the X plane is just not uh, designed for, you know, uh, casual flying. For you know, it's you know they they use it in the back end for, uh, you know, corporate uh, sims, you know, yeah. for Boeing's yeah. and all the other stuff. So they they're, they're making it, Michael's making his money. Let's just say that he's making his money. So um, I mean, that's why he took uh, put in so much. Um, uh, work into Vulcan so they can use multiple servers to run multiple screens to to do all this stuff because you know I mean he's, he's going for where, where the money is and that's uh, you know big business and government so and military of course you know that's that's the biggest thing there the military, the military sims and uh, a lot of the uh, yeah I think Austin will always find a way of making X plane work he'll always fill that niche yeah yep you're right. So uh, yeah, he keeps on improving it. He just he just needs some guys in his and you know he needs a couple of guys in the background you know that can uh, learn what Microsoft did with their scenery. So they you know so we can stop spending so much money on Orbix because Orbix does a great job. <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah, you know I mean you, you have to take out a car loan man by the time you cover the U.S. You know <laughs> it's, it's it's ridiculous sometimes. But I mean they do yeah. a great job. I mean I won't complain ish. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the That's why uh, I walk everywhere. So. Exactly. Sorry, Neil. I was just reading some messages out. Um, Flight Control says also does not run as smooth on my machine, even though it's getting better frames. Which one are you talking about, there, uh, Joel? Are you talking about Microsoft or, or Xplain? I find that Xplain, I, I never got a great frame rate with Xplain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just like it's it's been pretty decent. Like uh, I mean, with um, OpenGL, it's, it's been decent for me because you know I do a lot of VR stuff, of course. Yeah. So, but um, for for whatever I did between the new video drivers and uh, tweaking some of the stuff on the back end, and, uh, and I finally started using Vulcan. I mean, honestly, I mean, you know, uh, I've been doing uh, the Zebo and other stuff. You know, since other people have forced me to do two liners and next planes and and. Uh, <laughs> You know, in VR, I mean, I'm getting high frame rates, and Vulcan is running like butter smooth. But right now, even Microsoft is running like butter smooth, so I'm kind of a happy man right now. Merry Christmas to myself. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't know, you know, what magic is going on, but everything is great. So let's let's just keep going that way. So Avitex says the problem that I find most makers of whatever never heard of Canada, from what I find. I think actually Canada's is is well well um, done Mrs. in in, in Microsoft. Bailey. Yes, please. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Would you in like a cup of Mr. Peely? Yeah, yeah, that'd be very yeah. nice. Two sugars oh. in my place. Could I have a um, Earl Grey tea, please? It's a long trip up to the Midlands. <laughs> <laughs> it's, even, it's even further to the USA, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah freeze it and send it over. <laughs> freeze it. Solid ice block. So this is wow, actually quite I... a nice part of yeah. of of the um, the countryside. Nice time of day. Sun is setting slowly. 
It's looking good. Oh, you say so that was an explain, yes. It, yeah, it, you know. Then then you have to download ortho is um uh, what was the tool that we used for downloading ortho? Also for XP. Uh, also for XP, that's it. Gosh, how can I forget that already? Indeed. I now have eight terabytes of spare hard drive space that I didn't have before. <laughs> yeah, I can't see I, I can't I can't tell that line, man. I, I literally downloaded uh four hours of uh what's XP just to get Cuba so I can oh, fly across wow. Cuba. Even though I'm not gonna land there, it, it was so vanilla ugly. Yeah. I had to do something, yeah. so... Once you've flown over and experienced also scenery, there's no going back, is there? You, you can't exactly. use the default explain. Yeah, and, with my, and you know, us using Microsoft so much, I mean, you know, anytime you see any uh, generic, uh, you know, uh, stuff for explain, it's like, well, no, no, it's not gonna happen. I and, uh, also that's... found that I was spending more time sorting out my ortho and, and sorting the overlays out than I was actually flying with X-Plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to come up with some weird, not really a real system to make sure, you know, it went into one place and I could just grab the uh, overlays and, and drop it in the same exact place and, you know, kind of keep it together. So, yeah. I guess yeah, at the end of the day, the more Sims we've got, at the end of the day, we're the winner, you know, we'll be the winners. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, keep, they'll keep fighting, they'll keep improving, and... You yeah, know, all the time there's competition. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, so... So, because uh, I'm really hoping, um... What's, what's that other sim that's... Uh... DCS. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, is, is Aerofly still a thing? Oh, I don't know. The Aerofly 2 or whatever? Yeah, that, that's a, still a big deal, mate. I mean, they're actually a small player, but they're as popular as they were when they came out, yeah. yeah. Wow. They got a yeah, big following, think, actually. Yeah, I think they have the same uh, issue, like um, well, I guess with X Plane, where um, I noticed the prices of their, um, their, you know, the scenery with also with uh, with orbits is basically orbits, you know, because orbits are the only guys that really do it. Uh, man, it's just it's just ridiculous how expensive it is, and you know, man, if we can get a good balance on you know adding scenery and all that, or you know, hopefully one day uh, orbits to just do some type of worldwide you know thing where you could just drop the whole thing be good with it that'd be awesome but that's not gonna happen yeah that's Flight, less money for them flights with john says just look in the comments about fs2 ah oh, jules said he was flying it yesterday yeah he was flying it wow. yesterday oh the best r22 wow oh is that you Google? Uh, I just came past you, I think, yeah. Yeah, I just came above me. That was nice, bro. That was nice. Right, well, I'm going to wish everybody uh, a, a grand day and enjoy the rest of your flight. And as always, it's been a pleasure chatting with you all, and uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. That's all right, Seamus. Right, so, good. every Thursday, 7 o'clock. All right, Seamus. <laughs> all right. UK time. Every Every Thursday, 7 o'clock, UK time. I yeah. will keep that in mind. All right. All Take right, care, guys. Seamus. Bye bye. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Take care. Hey, is this um, New Year's Eve? By any chance, is that where we're at now? This uh, is New it... Year's Eve Eve. Eve Eve? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my Abit... days are not. <laughs> Abby Tech says, I like explain, but send it up t to look better it takes a lot of work. Yeah. I see the new flight sim. Yeah. It's buy it and fly it right off the bat. It pretty much is. Yeah. It pretty much is, and 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 you have some handcrafted air airports to go with it. You know. Indeed, it will be Joel. Yeah, it must be. Uh, new it must be New Year's Eve in Australia. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Peter, we... What's your uh, speed, bro? Oh. <laughs> uh, 148, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> you're good. Well, what to... we need, we need a lasso to keep throwing over him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did slow <laughs> down earlier. I've obviously gained speed somewhere along the line. Yeah, he's like that kid, you know, you got to have the little wrist strap and, yeah. you know, back <laughs> yeah, back to it. Yeah. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs>
Oh man. Yes. Right. I've got to retrim now. Ah, you got to see uh, Renoir coming up behind you. Yeah. See him on my left. I'll try and keep to 120. Oh, 120? Okay. Back it up. Oh, you've all. You've all. Oh, look. The magic tea has arrived. <laughs> there we How go. Long is, it, is it to the next airport? It's not um, far. No, it's not far by the looks of it. Um, uh, 42. Yeah. Excellent. Final, I think final destination. See then. I think that's the final destination. It is the final oh, destination. Right, okay. Yes. Bit of a shorter one today. I've just had a CTD. Oh, uh -oh. no. Come on. Just as we were praising how good the sim was. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, that's the one thing that we've all agreed on that, you know, lack of stability. So Abby says, yeah. gotta, gotta run. Great stream. Catch you again. Hopefully, yes. So every Thursday at seven o'clock. Um, GMT. Right, bye, Abitech. Good to see you. Maybe bye. join us in a flight next time. So um, we've got a few bendies to do, and then we've got a, a left turn flying up a valley. And I need to be in my topo map. Apper Mink, uh, is that Apper Minky RP? Uh, hi, did you want to fly A320 in share cockpit? Um, as I tend to fly GA, uh, probably not. But thank you very much for the offer. I haven't thrown an A320 for at least a year. I don't think I have, is it? It's got to be at least nine months, I think, since I've uh, been in the 320. I mean, a 320 properly flown, as in, you know, I've started the A320 in this sim and, and took it off without really setting it up just to see what it was like. Um, but to actually fly a 320 would have been back in X-Plane. How did I end up in front of you? Um, because I slowed down. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just doing a 360 to... Oh, you have got to be careful dipping the wing on this thing, haven't you? Yeah. It's uh, it, <laughs> it's, a, it's a proper aeroplane. He says, I am a real pilot. Try to explain some streamer to get some nice content. Okay. Well, although I'm pilot Peely, I'm not a real pilot. Um, albeit I did fly gliders in my youth. So that's why I put pilot Peely on here. Who's the unknown pilot then? The unknown pilot? Yeah, there's a name tag there, unknown. Oh. Ah. Oh, I haven't spotted him. Viper looks like he's perched on the hill. Yeah. And thank you for following. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that username. Appa, I think it's Appa Ming... Ming... Apple Minky RP, I think. RP Real Pilot. There you go. Who's directly? Apple Monkey. All oh, right, Apple Monkey. Apple Monkey, right? Yeah. Well, Apple Monkey, I, I, if you weren't aware, there are at least two real-world A320 pilots that are also on the simulator. You have 320 Sim Pilot, who's a British pilot. Um, you also have V1 simulations who's an American Airbus pilot. Uh, there's also a couple of Boeing pilots. That also fly Airbus. B 
think I'm getting a little upslope turbulence in, uh, down here in these valleys. Yes, that is one of the things I, I truly love about this sim. Updrafts and downdrafts are, yeah. are, re are pretty well done. Yeah, I, I remember seeing, uh, don't you remember when they showed the, uh, the video of, uh, you know, how they, uh, edit, you know, how it was done? Yeah. It was uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh yeah, you're right down there in the uh, in the valley. Uh, so I so you don't want to try? Uh, no, not this time. Thank you. Thanks for the offer. I'm also not entirely sure it's working very well in this sim. You're welcome. Have a good one too. So Captain Bombasso is down there checking the water level. He is indeed, yeah, he's catching the mosquitoes down there. <laughs> we lost a few people. Where's Captain Spitfire? I'm just loading in now. Oh, oh. Viper Strike is, is pulling himself out of the mountain, it looks like. Renoir is behind you. Is he behind me? He's um, behind you. Yeah, oh no he's not. I don't see his label. <laughs> Um, I'm looking up from here and he's very close to his, his um, oh, I can't tell from my position. He's showing me as the unknown pilot. No, I can see, I can see, he's, he's listed as Renoir 71. Flash with Joel, great conversation, got to go, have a good one, and you a very happy new year to you, Flights of Joel. Um, we'll Take see care, you Joel. in the next year, because Bye -bye. next stream will be next year. Hey, Joe. Sorry about that. Um, I, I crashed. At, I was getting dinner. I didn't realize I forgot to pause the game. <laughs> That's all right. I've done that too. So there you go. I don't know if you saw it earlier, but uh, there's a, a Pilot Peely mug that got made as well. Nice. Am I actually going the uh, the correct way? Because uh, I'm just I'm just down here. I, uh, I, you you stay down there for a bit, but you'll need to come up to the plateau yeah. at the top because the runway's on top. Okay. Thankfully, so you, this thing does climb pretty well. But you you're good for now. Okay. I'm doing yeah, a spy a bit of a spy plane on you at the moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because, you know, this is all Peely's fault, because, you know, before I met Peely and Dougal, you know, I was just Mr. Safe Pilot all the time, making sure I'm doing everything correct, and all of a sudden we have a <laughs> them wing stream, and then we're, you know, you know, 40 planes are flying, and, you know, at, you know, at, you know, uh, 500 feet AGL, and doing loops and everything, and it's like, jeez, you know, you know, now, now I'm, I love being down here now, so. Are you suggesting for one minute that we might have been irresponsible in our flying techniques? A hundred percent correct. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> oh, man. Very cool. I'm yeah, coming down to Ren join you. Yeah, and Ren was, Renoir is pinned to your wing. Oh, nice. Okay, I see, okay, I see you guys now. Okay. I'm almost back with you. I can see Renoir and Captain Bombasso, but I can't, and Viper Strike, but I can't see anyone else. Um, I'm just above and ahead of Bombasso. Yep. No, it's a hashtag 22 situation. I can't see anyone else apart from those three. Oh, that's interesting, because that's, we've not had much of that on this server. No. And I, 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 I don't see everybody at the minute either. Because the North Europe server has been appalling for the last 48 hours. Murph had to switch to um, Southeast Asia yesterday. No, I get all down here, look. Yeah, we did. I wonder if it's just because of the uh, congestion. 
so many guys on the UFP servers. I'm hoping that it's because they're um, fixing things and working on things. Yeah. And... <laughs> That'd be good. I can see Captain Spitfire now. That's a positive view, Dougal. Um, it is indeed, yeah. Forever um, the optimist. Bill, you're right up at 10,000 feet, yeah? Yes, I am. Right, okay. Is it good up so there? I can see you. <clears throat> I can see a lot. <laughs> it, look, it could be that you can't see us all now because we're down in the valley. We're below your horizon. Well, I'll just have to come and join you then, won't I? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I put it that high so I can speed the sim up and not hit a mountain. <laughs> No, you just like looking down on us all, don't you? Come on, admit it. You found me out. <laughs> the thing is, what bombast is that when you're doing this sort of flying in a valley like this, it really does hone your um, control skills. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, really, is is all your training still in the Piper, bombast? Oh yeah, all Piper right now. Yeah. And it's just starting to get a bit dark now to see people in the shadows. This aircraft was not designed or built to fly it, to do this kind of flying. <laughs> Which is why we do it. Uh, <laughs> I see Captain Spitfire. I hear somebody behind me, who's that? Uh, no. I'm under your peely. That's Renoir, the Spitfire that you've got near you. No, that's definitely Bombasso. He's not in the Spitfire. No, but I can hear him. Uh, yeah. He's, he's a bit lower than me and just got ahead. I think that was probably me. No, unless your label says Captain Bombasso. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> but you have just gone below me now, yes. Right. I just put my foot down again. <laughs> okay, there's going to be a split in the river. There's going to be a bit that goes oh, off to yeah. the left and a bit that goes to the right. So we're going to take the bit that goes to the right. Oh, then, good time, good time. then we'll need to sort of pull up out of this valley. Is that your right or my right? <laughs> <laughs> Starboard. There you go. That'll make it whichever. <laughs> yes. We're still going to need to go further right as well, aren't we? Uh, yes. Oh, I've got aeroplanes all over the place now. I've got yeah. Spitfires below. I've got Kodiaks above, behind, in front. I can hear someone's fan. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been Murphs. Because <laughs> he only has one after all. Oh, yeah. Here's the split. Yeah, and I think we all managed to take the right. Are we still following the river? Um, no. No. Alright. Head towards the sun. On Basso, chuck a right. We're not following the river. Uh, 281 magnetic is the actual course line. Or thereabouts. 282, according to my. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How does that work? Uh. Is 
So you need to start your climb. One thing I forgot about is fuel because I did not set my fuel before coming in. Uh, <laughs> coming in. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm. I'm, yeah, I'm still in the green. I'm. I'm yeah. touching it, but yeah, yeah, the right. thing about it, I can't change it. I can't change the, the fuel because uh, the buttons are still broken for me and uh, NPR. All right. Very efficient this aircraft. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I mean, what what do we start with? Fifty percent and. Uh... I'm still in the green, so just enough to get to this airport. This is quite a climb. Indeed. Oh, music stopped again. I enjoyed it's that. Tomorrow, wouldn't it? Well, I just had to do a lateral flow test. Oh. And the good news is I am not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope there's no bad news. Well, so do I. I have to, apparently, I've been giving you talks and I have to do this every day for seven days. Wow. No wonder there's a shortage of kits. Yeah. Jeez. So I'm trying no wind at all. No, zero wind. So we'll come in on zero four. Posted a few pictures in Discord if anybody wants to have a look. Right. Giraffes! Where did you spot giraffes? Just when I mentioned them earlier on, uh, you were just coming up to them, they were on your left hand side. No oh. way! <laughs> oh, we missed it. Yeah. Right, guys, we've got to go back. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't get that in X Plane. <sighs> no, no. Tarnish, you should have said in a more forceful way. <laughs> I wasn't um, on Discord at the time. I was doing other things in the background. So uh, by the time I typed it out, you'd already gone past it. God, Struis. I've not seen a giraffe in the sim before. Haven't you? No. Oh, great. If you retrace um, the track that you took today just from your first airport, it's mm. not very far after that. Ah. Oh, is, sorry, whoever that was. Is um, it on track? On, on the track? Do I have to deviate yeah, much? Yeah, on your, on your flight path that you were taking, because I um, spawned in on your... I'll have a look on the map to see. Uh, if I'm going into land. To... Okay, no. And the scenery just marvelous. It is. It reminds me. Do you know? Remember those um, those uh, square? They were they're like a, a load of pins in a perspex thing, and you can push your hand into it, and you see your oh, hand yeah. pull out. Oh yeah. yeah. The land looks like that. It looks like somebody's got hold of the land, and in various parts, just pushed it up through the surface of the earth. Because you just have these vertical bits that come out, and then you've got these plateaus at the top. I 
I got one of those profile tools for when I was doing model making. Yeah. Yes, you can get either 2D or 3D variants of that, can't you? Yeah, the one I got was like two me uh, metal plates screwed together and very tiny pins, probably two milli. And there was like, you could, you could move them in and out. Yeah, you can get like a 3D version, so there's, it, you could, you know, like push a fist into it and it would replicate. The shiny other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's good. Though. Good timing, Peely, as usual. Wow, sunset. I mean, just look at that view. I mean, it's just... Way over there, and then... Over there, towards the sun. I still find it very odd that the airport marker on Little Nav Map is about half a mile away from the actual runway. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Right. Do some prep for um, landing. Let's kill some speed. It's nice of Viper to land already. Go use him as a good label. Yeah. <laughs> when you've done about another quarter of a mile or so, Neil, go outside and look behind you. The, the sun against the valley wall is, is just incredible. You're probably not quite far enough along yet. I'm a bit ahead of you. What, that meant there? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that something? It is. It's just great. I was so busy looking back, I actually overshot the field. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and as you make, as you turn final, you get the full view of that valley. That's just awesome. Who else is on the ground? I can see two labels. Uh, Viper and... Oh, uh, uh, no, it's Bill's label, I can see. Are you on approach, Bill? Oh, I didn't know Renoir was on my wing. <laughs> I was He's on every... his photos. <laughs> He's on everybody's wing. No, I've, I've overshot it. Dougal, right. I've just okay. turned to go back now. Yeah, you were too busy looking at the view, weren't you? I was, yeah. yeah. It's just great looking at that over there, isn't it? Yeah. You can just make out the runway in the twilight. Perfect timing. Thankfully, it's a straight one, not a bent one. Yeah. I've got the hills going purple here. Yeah. In the distance. Just a bit too fast. 82. This is too fast. So 74, I've just found out. <laughs> That'll do, thank you. I'm actually going in to reverse about 10 foot off the ground. Yeah, it worked. Okay.
Nicely done, sir. Thank you. I still can't see you, Billy. How strange. Oh yes, very nice, Bombasa. Good one, Bombasa. That was that your first landing in this? Yes, sir. Wow. So that so reverse, that, yeah. That reverse. Yeah, the first <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's like a Bronco, man. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Oh, who's that? Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Put on the brakes. <laughs> More luggage. Who was that? Captain at 007. Hello, my friend. When did you sneak in? Is he actually flying? He's just landed. Well, he just sort of overshot the runway. He's, he's hiding in the trees at the minute. Oh, Bombasso, you've got to be careful of this thing on the ground. I like she the shutdown. The, the, the engine shutdown is great on this. Yeah. Support that. Just turn it up. Now. It's a bit up the field from you, oh, I think. Yeah, 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 you're just up the other end of the... You follow in as well. I've got, I've got my lights flashing. Yeah, me too. I'm on pulse. I can't see your lights flashing. I can see your aircraft. N1 Codus, hello, first time viewer. Um, now is that, is Codus somebody we've got flying with us? Captain Spinfire and Renoir doing the flyby. Yeah. Yeah. So like... Something about a couple of Spitfires, isn't there? I only saw one of them. Oh, really? Uh, I got them both. Now, the odd thing is that in my library, I have the Mark Main, and yeah. those both show up as Finanzas to me. Oh, that's ridiculous, isn't it? And it's terrible. Yeah. Mike is all over you right now. First time Good. chat from Nikodas. Hello. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'm not sure when you joined. Who's in the blue Kodiak? That, that, that would be me, Peely. Alright. No, I'm sat just in front of Viper Shrike and you can't see me, can you? No. I can't. Why is that? I don't think you can see me either. Servers being I can't see it, Amish. Um, I thought I recognised the name, um, Nicodas. Is that the name that you flew with us before? Yeah, I thought I recognised that name, actually. Yeah. Captain's 007. He's back in the air again. In Indeed. a Kodiak. Yeah. Is he going to join us on the ground? Well, he did. He did once already. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was busy doing he, he stuff. He went for a total into the trees. Go buff out. Ah, uh, okay, you fly with Shoney, that's where I recognise you. Ah. Name yeah. yeah. I've not managed to catch Shoney for a while. He, he's usually on too early for me. So we're going to see some spits land now. I don't know why my stream decks not working. That's very, very odd. Music's playing. Yeah, but it's not, if you see what I mean. Oh, parallel landings. Spitfire parallel landings. Go on. 
Oh, Renoir, I don't see now. Okay. I'll just see the label. And he and heard lights, him go past. The lights are lighting them up as well. That was very good. Yeah. I wonder how much, how many hours those guys have got between them in the spit. Because I'm saying well over four thousand. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Because um, Renoir has also got many, many hours. I got the stars starting to come out now. Yeah. Oh, I definitely got some photos for Instagram now. <laughs> Brilliant. Now suddenly, the only labels I see um, are the Spitfires. I, I is see it because you're else. close to the other aircraft? Well, I'm not close enough. Yeah, I've been much closer before. Um, I think there's definitely some server stuff going on in the background. I do like these pulsating lights because it even shows on other aircrafts. I've just posted a screenshot of where the giraffes were in relation to the airport. Oh, oh thanks. Nice oh, yeah. Well, wow, what a nice bit of music to just pan around and have a look at this view from up here. That's marvellous. I would turn my cam off, but my button's not working. <laughs> Any excuse. <laughs> Any excuse to leave it on. And there's the gathering down there. As the PD flyers gather in the outback. Well, being in the uh, in the African outback here, <laughs> well, it's not an outback. We really need David Attenborough's intro introduction, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to get that from me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Murph actually does it very well. And there's the lake over there. Which lake is that? I've got it written down there somewhere. All right. Take care, Nikodas. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, Nikodas. That's just grand, isn't it? That was the perfect time for this flight, I would say. So, I'll do a quick recap. Next Thursday, we do part two. Um, and then we'll have a third part, which will take us to uh, Khartoum. And then we start on the White Nile the following week. And um, that's going to be in uh, a single part, I think, on the first part of that. And then that will get us to uh, Lake Victoria. It's tarnished, look! And, um, and then we've got a numerous weeks of flying um, down the proper Nile as it um, all the rivers converge and form one river called the Nile and that will take us up through the Sud in Sudan which I have yet to go and have a look at and see what it looks like in the sim but it's um, it's a part of the Nile where you have pods of papyrus that float on top of the the river and make it unnavigable to um, to craft and then we end up going through Sudan and into Egypt Sounds we'll good. Pro probably do a little flighty around the pyramids en route and then uh, end up uh, coming out of the Delta into the Mediterranean so that will cover us for the next probably two months. <laughs> so that's a lot of flying. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, great. If you fancy a raid, I see two cats is still flying. Oh, is he really? Yep. Okie dokie. So he's um, in the, he's in, the, he's in uh, 
second most favourite aircraft, of course, the DC-6. OK, let's have a Raider. Uh, yeah, he's got 29 followers. So we'll go and raid uh, two cats. Um, so first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much, everybody, for joining me on this uh, special first flight of the Nile. And um, it's been a blast. Thanks for all my new followers. Really appreciate the, the followers there. Uh, thanks for the missus for the cup of tea. And, um, <laughs> and uh, well, we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Thursday at 7 GMT. Uh, again, we'll be in the Kodiak, so lots of uh, experience now with the Kodiak. So uh, join us then, and thank you for joining. So um, uh, say goodbye, chat. Bye. Chatty bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, chat. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks for joining. And um, we'll end with my end titles, if I can find them, and we'll go and read two cats. So we'll start that, and we'll do my end.